Okay, so let's solve this problem. Now suppose the fifth term in the geometric sequence is 25 and the ninth term is 400. Find the third term. Now since this one is a geometric sequence problem, so therefore we need to solve first the common ratio. So using this formula, a sub n equals a sub m times r. So this r is the common ratio to the power n minus m. Now this a sub n is the value of the n term. Then n, that's the term of uh, a sub n, and n is always greater than m. Then this a sub m, that's any value except a sub n. Then m, that's the term of the a sub m. Now, since on the given, we have this fifth term and the ninth term, and we have this condition that n is greater than m, so therefore, this ninth term is n, and the value of the n term, that's a sub n, so a sub n now is equal to 400. So n is equal to 9. Then for a sub m, so we're going to use this uh, fifth term, and the value of fifth term is 25. So m now is equal to 5, because 25 is the fifth term. Then r, that's the unknown, that's the common ratio. Then substitute these uh, values to this formula. So a sub n, that's 400, equals a sub n, that's 25. Then r is unknown to the power n, n is 9. Then m, that's uh, 5. Then divide both sides by 25. Divide by 25. So this 400 divided by 25, that's 16. And this 9 minus 5, that's 4. Then to solve for r, since this one will expand in 4, so therefore we need to get uh, the fourth root. So the fourth root of r to the power 4, so cancel. So r now is equal to the fourth root of 16, and that's 2. So r, or the common ratio, is equal to 2. Then to solve for the third term, the same formula. Now, since we're looking for the third term, Therefore, we have two options for our a sub n and n because we have this condition that n is greater than m. So we can use uh, the fifth term as our n because fifth term is greater than the third term. We can also use this uh, ninth term as our n because ninth term is greater than the third term. So for this example, I'm going to use the fifth term as my n. So therefore, my a sub n is the value of the fifth term. That's 25. Then n, that's 5, because 25 is the fifth term. Then for my a sub m, since we're looking for the third term, so therefore my a sub m is a sub 3. Now since a sub m is equal to a sub 3, so therefore my m is equal to 3. Then R, the computed common ratio, that's equal to 2. Then substitute these values to this formula. So we have A sub N, that's 25. A sub M, that's A sub 3. Then R, that's 2. N is 5. Minus M is 3. Then simplify this uh, 5 minus 3. That's 2 to the power 2. And this 2 to the power 2 is 4. Then to solve for a sub 3, divide by 4 both sides. So therefore, a sub 3 is equal to 25 over 4. And this 25 over 4 is the third term.